Hey, go back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm watching In This Corner of the World. I do not know what it's about, but it should be sad. I searched some sad movies to watch, which is what I've been doing for the past week. I'm going to read the synopsis. I won't include it this time unless I read something interesting. So I'm going to read that so know what I should know what I'm getting into as we get into it. Um, what else? Yeah, nothing else to mention before we start. So yeah, now without further ado. Oh, I thought she was like narrating. Her voice sounds so. It just said young girl too in the synopsis. I don't think I've seen age anywhere, but she looks like she's 10. I love the animation though. Damn. Back then, you could just buy the entire shop with the money, with what everything costs now, how much money people have. Yeah, it's a very huge basket. <laughs> oh, this must be a fictional story. There's no way that she's drawing for her sister. Interesting story. When it said her head's always in the clouds or whatever, I didn't think it meant like literally she's seeing things every day. Unless that's a real person. Do you know about the mysterious girl in, the, in your ceiling? Um. Oh, there's like something for everything. His pencil? Mizahara san, Imanon do you hear me? Huh? Ah, Shiranamiga, Sagiga, honey or me. Oh, wow, she actually made up like little rabbit. Her drawings are really nice. Wait, that drawings for him? I didn't know. Yeah, how old are you? Twelve. Huh? Wow. Are we talking about an actual umbrella and like why are you spoiling the events? So what's the point of Mizuhara when she's marrying someone else and moving far away? <laughs> こっちの学校へ通うとった頃どこかで見初めたんじゃ思います。
it was so simple and so sudden, eh? And the girls would have no say. She can't just be like, Mother, I want to marry this man. It is you who have to be chosen. Damn, she went home and just left. Oh, she could turn him now. Oh, they're leaving now. Wait. There's no way that's them because he took a liking to her seeing her on the way to, what, school? And now... You barely caught a, a real glimpse of her if you can't tell this is her. So I'm guessing it already happened and she's moving to him. Pass Yano. Pass Saka. Pass... Koyara. Um, she's already married? She's gown? Oh, they're marrying there. Yes, I think that's what the old lady said. Whew, not me yawning. We barely got 20 minutes in. We really didn't. Oh my gosh. Very high up. Good location, yeah? And she just has to stay behind. Oh, I couldn't, I couldn't, girl. I couldn't do this. She was in school, like, literally 10 minutes ago. Is she done or something? She looks a bit taller now. I don't know if we've skipped time. We did. We did. They were showing the years, but I was hardly paying attention because I thought it was, like, one year at a time. Should I go back and see? 11 years since the beginning scene, which is why she looks very small, of course. I'm just, I really wasn't paying attention to the time. I feel like everything's very quick. I'm now only 20 minutes in. A lot of time has passed that I wasn't really paying attention to because I'm still just trying to understand what this movie's uh, about. Even though it's not this, it doesn't really stick until I see it. More of a visual learner. An umbrella. What does that even mean? The old lady told her to agree without really knowing. Why does it have to be a brand new umbrella then? To be honest, I did not think it meant that. But she really brought an umbrella, so. Like, I know we married and all, but. <laughs> Girl, you better remember him. Yesterday. <laughs> the fact that they had to take her outside and point. I'm sure he has a kid too. I hope, I feel like she's acting like this. I was going to say I hope, but I feel like she's acting like this because her in-laws act like that to her. <laughs> so then you can cook you and Harumi's dinner. Like, I don't understand. She learned a lot. Like, she was being taught. Okay, that's trying to make a commander, not like the little girl watching behind her. She's standing like that boy from Coraline. And you made her little bag, so cute. So she meant it in a good way, like, she was, she was just like, tough love, probably. I'll leave it at that. She's not a bad character. Her attitude is just a bit shocking. 
She took over all the work Suzu was doing because it seemed like she was just doing too much. And it's like, you haven't been home yet? I come home all the time. You should go home. She does everything perfectly in one stroke, not even racing. Is she worried about her brother? Because she's not homesick or she's dying. Tell him what's up. Don't just box his hand away. She's clearly uh, sad about something. More hair you noticed? <laughs> Didn't say anything. Paint her balls though? Oh, he died? So now that she made it bad, the recipe was just like, okay, if you're really trying to ration, you have not much to work with. Oh, now she's staying here for good. Oh, they're building their own like bunker. Y'all weren't alone in this bunker. She has a son too, or another kid. And he had to probably stay behind because I don't even know. Because you know, it's always a son that stays with the family, gets married, and the, the daughter moves out. But she moved away from his family after. Hmm, interesting. She's just drawing. Are they, what are they trying not to laugh or are they embarrassed by this? Did they burn on her drawings? Oh, they gave her something else. <laughs> okay, hold back the laughter. I couldn't tell. They had a lot of emotion on my face during that scene. Because her personality is like her, a spy. <laughs> it's like, I get that too. It's not like I'm mad about the situation, but I don't find it so funny to be laughing at the people around me. Yeah, I don't blame Harumi. Why? The whole way you weren't looking straight. Did y'all leave some food out? Oh my gosh, you're not that dumb girl. Black market. It looks like a lot, and just for sugar, you wasted a lot of resources. Don't 
That's why she gave you so much money. Don't walk with it like that. Yeah. Okay. Suiko? Caramel? My wall? Hey, you want her to draw? That's cute. I just thought she was going to charge her. I think you should give it to her now and not come back. You already got, like, investigated for your drawings. <laughs> oh no! So you just let her go like that instead? Movie's funny, I didn't expect that. The bad thing is, good but bad. I care about Suzuno. I care about Suzu, her husband, and her family-in-law. <laughs> so if anything bad happens to them, I love her face when like she's defeated <laughs> and her head goes down. <laughs> Only if you know they kind of liked each other. I thought they've only been kissing. Oh, <laughs> okay. He's so like lively now. Oh. Show be here. Don't you mess this up. Don't be saying that weird. <laughs> Her husband should hit him. All he's gonna do <laughs> my goodness my goodness how did she even meet him I was just all that what is wrong with this guy he's not happy about it <laughs> I think he's kind of jealous of their dynamic like she hit him she yells at him I don't know very close okay hit and yells that doesn't really sound like a loving relationship but in a joking manner. He was laughing the entire time. Uh, and he probably wishes to know her in that way as well. Oh, he just left. Fair. You're not locking her up, right? Oh. What? Who locked the door? Hore. I'm getting a little bit anxious. Yeah. Well, we end up being, first we're not, and then we are. First we were, and we weren't, and then we are. Like, remove the comforters. I didn't know she was painting it for him to submit. That's. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't move to me. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna pause every second. Don't touch her. Let her go. Oh my gosh. You're like literally staying at her in-law's house. You're like. 
<laughs> she let it happen. No, don't let him kiss you, girl. Oh, it's getting so hot in here. <sighs> Suzu? Suzu? Suzu, what are you doing, Suzu? But you're married now. For letting you come out here alone with a man that clearly likes you. And you're yeah, right, that's how it's gonna go. And did he lock the door? This guy is too nonchalant, too casual with all this. I was freaking out here. I feel like they still, she still let him get too close, you know? Oh, he died. Her angry brother. I want them to discuss what happened in the storeroom and stuff as well, but I guess not. Okay, yeah. To talk. That's why she was mad. Well, hold on, hold on. Let me just keep track of everything. He's supposed to be gone for three months, and they're married now. From what we've seen so far, he didn't even leave yet. Now he's leaving. Oh. Oh, hello, lipstick. Like, that's all you need. She powdered her face. She said, I'll get the tickets. Can you take on your So the graveyard? To all oh, her dad in the hospital. I was worried about that. You don't want to get too far. Oh my gosh, like how where did the mom go? Whoa. Cover your ears, open your mouth. Her mouth's not open. Wow, this ear is not as damaged, and it seemed like a bomb dropped right on top of them. Okay, never mind. Right in front of them. Please tell me you heard him. There's literally The way they use, I'm sorry, I don't want to pause in such a like, 
a scary moment, but the way they use her drawings, or just drawings because, you know, she herself draws, to depict a lot of scenes, convey so much emotion with it. She died. Ugh, damn. I understand, like, I'm not even gonna be like, it wasn't her fault, like, how do you expect other cr I, it's, you should, you know, there's just no other way for her to express that loss and all that, so I can't even blame her for yelling at Suzu like that. But that was just in the blink of an eye. They're trying to find the train, they were warned, she recalled a lesson, and then she's gone. Lost her hand, though. There's no way she could really recover from this. She has a permanent reminder. The hand she was holding her with is also gone. And every time she every time she looks at her missing hand. I mean, the fact that they warned her to evacuate, I don't think she heard them when she just said, oh, thanks for your hard work. She could have taken the little girl to safety, but you still can't blame her. And I'm not saying um, Keiko knows all of that information of what happened. But now, see, it's just, that's regret talking so if i was her i would regret like so i'm sure she's faced with all that what i just said the regret of not hearing in time or calling the lesson in time or holding her with her left hand but you need to live suzu what she can try to put up the fire at least to preserve the house or let it burn i don't know but there's more fire on anyways so bad for uh, the sister because she already lost her son she lost her husband and then her son to the family he had to stay with and then they were also planning to have the daughter her daughter move in with them oh, she's right handed too she cannot she can never draw anymore the drawing's more like messy because she lost her right hand. I feel so bad for her. And then knowing what happens to Hiroshima. Nor nor was really safe. What's that her husband? I really love the this, this sister's character for her name, Kione or something. Yeah, she's probably my favorite. Who would have thought? I thought she was just like a mean, salty sister-in-law. But to think she would be the character to have lost so much and who would lose so much. The movie's still not done, but she's literally lost the most.
Is it the bottom or just like a transition of her drawings? Because not everything gets, um, there's a warning for on time. The silence, the bright light, and then nothing. I was wondering if that would change your mind to leave. I think it played a big part in her leaving. Ooh, is that from Hiroshima? That was a little bit too close to your, your neck. Your hair, that wasn't a problem. She tried to have her Sophie moment. <laughs> that thing came. Damn. That also could have killed somebody. I see why they removed the, um, the sliding doors. <laughs> I love her so much. I feel so bad for her too. Keiko. Yeah, I'll, I'll sing Keino or something like that. Hione? Where did I get that? So her mom, their mom went missing and the dad died. Yeah, I want to know that story too. He said she doesn't remember him, but he remembers her. In this corner of the world, wow. Look, the... Wait, so you're trying to say this story with the, the kidnapper is real from her drawing? Because first I thought it was the big head boy, but I think it was him then who was in the basket as well, the boy she ran to. She was drawing, everything's a fantasy to her, but maybe meeting him was real. It didn't seem natural her mentioning in this corner of the world. Hold on, you just made me believe we had a happy ending. I thought it was an end on that explosion, and then we're just like, so that is her. They had a kid. No, but that can't be her. That person has their right hand. That was so scary. I'm so confused what I'm seeing right now. Are we seeing the Hiroshima side from when they noticed the explosion? Oh, because the no arm is the hand as well. And she held that girl with her left hand. So in if it kind of, if it was swapped, like the situation with Suzu, she would have lost her daughter. And she would have been the, the one alive. But in this case, it's like what could have happened. Do they take her in? So, so they like adopted her. Why they, they ain't made or nothing yet? She looks like a zombie. Yeah. I think they should have um, started with that before they introduced her. I don't even know her name. You know, but I'm really glad that she found them. And like, the similarities. But like, oh, we're gonna see your girl? But the difference. 
Susie was like, if only I, I held her with my left hand. And that's how it took place with this little girl and her mom. Very long, I think. I feel like I feel like I'm sitting here for hours. Really sad towards the end, like it just the quick shift and the sudden shift. I can't do this. What's her name? That is so crazy of me. Yeah, the quick shift that Wahadami said, that was so surprising. So surprising and so sad. I feel like it was more sad because everyone else, like no one else died. Everyone was left behind, especially the mother. Okay, so that was my in this corner of the world reaction. I think they depicted war really well. I don't know how else to explain it. Like the slice of life. Like, we had a great portion of it. I feel like the first 50 minutes, it was just life. And it was, it felt long because I was sitting here, okay? I'm under this heat, it was a lot. But I like the time they took to explain this story and just portray life living in that situation in war. I think it was really well done, especially that last scene. Very shocking. I thought it was Suzu. The beginning, like the first 20 minutes when I was confused because she aged and I couldn't really comprehend because I was trying to like, just grasp, grasp the movie first. So that was confusing, but it was very early on and I caught it, thankfully. Her anger there, when she was like crying, um, I think it was because they suffered so much, so much people died, and that was after, um, that was after Harumi died. So she just felt they lost, everyone lost a lot. They lost their loved ones just for them to surrender. It's like, we suffered for nothing kind of that's how it felt like to her i don't think she was just she wanted to keep on fighting ah it just felt like all this and yet it was kind of for nothing that was true what, what else was i getting at though but yeah so the slice of life i like that they included that even though it, it took a while we got to see the life and then the shift what happened to that what what life looked like after all of that and the attacks you know how death how they coped with coped with all that the price of food and rationing, the black market, how expensive that was, the life of people like Lynn, even, even though we didn't get to see her again. So um, I just like the fact that they took a lot of time to explain or to showcase different parts of the movie. You know, her housewife life, the life after, life after Harumi died, the, the life or how it went to getting food, the rationing and, and payments, how expensive things were. They talked a lot, they showed a lot, but after finishing it, I guess I can overlook the length and just appreciate that they showed so much. So yeah, I'm just going to end this video here. I really hope you enjoyed it. So please leave a like. If you didn't, because far, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. And I didn't cry, but that's fine. The movie was really sad either way.